Good evening uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my shop, this is Bruce. Uh, we're now on uh, peanuts and single malt number four. We've got a few things on tonight. Um, we have, um, well actually we'll swing around here and we'll have a look. Um, we're going to, going to show the results. <coughs> Marcus Wilson has, uh, has made up a lantern not this one, but he's made a lantern which resembles this but has a long slot in it uh, to go on the um, the, soc the Soccer <coughs> 500 um, and that he's put into Emma's, Emma Ritson's um, uh, contest. So I've today made up another one and this one is for cutting keyways in these bushes, these particular bushes. Um, Let's have a look there. So what I've done is, is, is this is a section that goes into the um, um, goes into the clapper box and then we we'll just reduced it down a little bit and this particular size here is actually a neat fit uh, on the, the socket and I use that to center up the uh, the ram to make sure we're on on song. Um, this one's not finished. I've, I've got another one on there working at the moment um, and that still has to have uh, the hole and hole drilled and tapped with a thread and that'll be uh, full time for 8mm or 516 square uh, cut and high speed cutters. So that's, that's a success story from today. Another, another item that we've got on board uh, is making more of these sockets um, and I've shown these before and these are sockets uh, for, for closing, opening and closing these special nuts that I make for impellers. So I take a regular impact socket and then I machine it and I've got one on the, on the mill at the moment behind me here uh, that I'm milling it out to, um, to make that uh, to make those extra ones. Part of the, when, when I mill these out, part of what I have to do is to make another socket that goes over that and then I weld it, I, t I TIG weld it up uh, to give it stiffening for the very thin edge here. So that's just another one. I've got more of these uh, test, test tubes to make. They're different, with different sizes here, hole through the center. Uh, a Nitto air connector and uh, this one's an M16 but they're all different types for doing a lot, quite a lot of testing. Um, the, um, the other thing is I can't show you the whole job but uh, I have spoken about uh, having to machine some titanium or titanium, titanium um, and it was the first time for me. I, I made up some parts and then they went off to have um, uh, laminates or uh, some sort of compound fitted to them and they came back joined together with a, 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 at a distance with a laminate tube um, and they came back to me for, for machining uh, and so forth. So this is the end result um, of the machining that I did. So it was a bit, uh, a, a bit tough getting there, getting that, cutting that thread in against the, um, uh, the radius. So I machined the whole thing, machined the back, uh, did a relief groove and um, then, then cut single pointed uh, the thread there and then uh, cut, cut and drilled a hole in um, a part way, a counter bore and um, counter bore that with an end mill. <coughs> I can't, I can't tell you any more, it was an experimental job. It's the first time I've worked with uh, titanium and I must say that um, it was a challenge and, and we got through it and, 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 uh, and came out the other side in a good condition. Now the other thing that I'm making up and I've shown these before is these long sockets. And what I do is I take a, uh, an impact, a, a deep impact socket, I cut it and I then and and then machine up and counterbore some uh, or clean up and counterbore some uh, schedule 80 extra strong pipe, and I use that to connect the two together. So I'm going to show you the jig I've made up this time. Normally, what I do 
is I make them so that they're fairly tight fit, knock them together, put a bolt through them, tighten that bolt up so that everything's true, and I then um, and I then TIG weld, uh, spot weld them. I had a couple of spots with the TIG, and then I do the full welding after that. So I'm going to show you now the jig that we set up today, and um, and how how that operates. So I'll just swing around here to the welding table. We'll take her down. Let's see if I can see what's going on here. Um, I'll just bring that in a bit more, maybe. Okay, so so what so what we have is we have the, the tube counterboard both ends uh, quite not so deep, uh, and the sockets. Once I've cut them, I've cut them off. I then machine them back deeper. The idea being that they'll fit in both both ends will will fit in like that. Fit in, and then I'll I'll TIG weld them, and I use this thin wall. I have uh, because I've limited it only to five millimeters deep, or so about three sixteen deep, and this is longer. This is uh, uh, sixteen uh, eleven mil deep. So then what I do is is I TIG weld them, and um, and actually this this thin part here becomes the weld metal. So, in order to make sure that I get them nice and straight, then I've made up, we've made up this jig today. Troy actually helped me out here. Um, we made up this jig, and so we put, we put the two ends in, drop it into the jig, clamp it down, and also clamp it down here. So there's nowhere for it to go. I can then set up, and I can, I can TIG, TIG weld a couple of spots, uh, and then once I've done that, I store them over here. And once I've done all of that quantity that I need to do, um, I'll, I'll then come back and complete the um, complete the work. And the beauty of this is that I've got this adjustable end here. I mean, you're coming a bit closer. So on on this this clamp here. I've got, I've made, we've made up an adjustable end, it's nice and big, and then we can adjust that to suit. Now, the other, the other good thing about this jig is that um, it, it guarantees that we get the socket on one end and the square head on the other. Because if I were to take, say, um, say two socket ends, and put them in, and drop it in, in here, that's not going to reach. There's a, there's a gap here. So that straight away rings the alarm bells that um, I've, I haven't done it correctly. So that's, that's another good reason for having this, uh, this particular jig. Go out a bit. Oh, other way. Yeah, so the other reason being that, that you've got to have they're both on because this ha I got trapped with this in the past where I'd um, I, I'd made a I made a mistake on that. So um, all things all things equal, uh, we're running out of battery by the look of it. Uh, where are we? Oh, we're getting very close. Um, caps for sale, uh, gear indicators for sale. It's on my website or go to uh, BruceGetterOut.com. Uh, Bruce Get Her Out. Uh, at uh, gmail.com and you can order those and also um, the TrueLine 88 I'm coming up with two models for that and we'll be showcasing that soon so that's the update on that and don't forget the Barzi Summer Bash coming up uh, towards the end of June and we hope to see you there so if you can help out uh, and purchase a cap or a, a gear indicator that will help our cause very much thank you very much